Hey fellow explorers, in this video I'm going to be taking you around San Francisco International Airport, the F gates and the E gates, these are the gates that United Airlines flies out of. Alright, I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what I can see. And we're going to start the walk here at gate F1, most notable because uh, this connects to the International Terminal A and G gates right over there. There are a few security checkpoints to come in here. This one right by the International gates in F1 is only open during certain hours so it may not be open all the time but if you're here in the afternoon or evenings you'll find a really close security checkpoint to F1. This is where the Centurion Lounge is, the American Express Lounge right here, my favorite lounge in San Francisco International Airport. If you have an Amex Platinum card that's the spot you're gonna want to go. Now the way these gates are set up there's this kind of like semicircle that you walk around that has just on the right here the ticketing area and security. To the left are the planes, and then there's a couple of fingers that go down. So most of the gates are really down the two fingers we're gonna go down, but most of the shops and restaurants are around this main semi-circle. If you need to get a shoe shine, you'll actually still find a shoe shine here at uh, San Francisco Airport. It actually seems like a new shoe shine compared to an old shoe shine. This Pete's Coffee. I'm here at about nine in the morning. The line at 7.30 was quite incredible. There were, I don't know, 30 people in line for that coffee. Uh, plenty of boards for flight information if you wanna know when your flight is. But in the United section, you're only gonna see the United flights on that board. If you're looking for some classic San Francisco clam chowder. You'll find it just to the left here at Yankee Pier. Pretty good spot for a quick lunch or breakfast. If you need a mother's room over here in the corner, you'll find a mother's room to give you privacy for pumping or breastfeeding. What's this little thing right here? You know, San Francisco is home to high tech in the U.S. and we've got Cafe X, which is a robotic coffee shop right here where like this little robot makes your coffee and then gives it to you here in the pickup window. That is pretty cool. All right, so to the right are the E-gates and we're gonna come back here to check those out in just a moment, but we're gonna head down the F-gates first. The F-gates, definitely the older section of uh, this particular terminal area. It's a little bit of a long walk to go down the finger. These are one of the fingers that I tell you about, but they have some moving sidewalks that are nice to speed you up. Over here on the right, you can see the first E gate, that is E1, where that plane is, and all the United tails out there. Looking over to the left is where the international terminal goes. Some of the United flights go out of the international gates, which are the G gates. If you want to see that, I have a whole separate video walking you around the international G gates. This is a nice cushy thing to walk on. Bounce, bounce, bounce. And uh, I'll pick you up just right at the end of this moving walkway. All right, right here at the end of the moving walkway, we got the sign that says walkway ends. You know, one of my favorite Shell Silverstein Poems is where the sidewalk ends. Here you'll find one of the outposts of the United Club. This one is open from 5 a.m. to midnight, so lots of hours there. This is also where the food court is over here, so let's take a look at some of the food on offer. Uh, we've got ladle leaf. What's this? This is a salad place. It's kind of like make your own salad bar, sort of things like that, and ladles for Soups. I think the soups are pretty tasty from there. My favorite thing to eat at San Francisco Airport is Koi Palace Express right here. Uh, they have some pretty good um, Chinese food on the steam table back over there. But what they're really known for is their dim sum cooked to order that they steam up back there. You'll see it up here. They've got shumai for $8, hargao for $9, uh, and a whole bunch of other options. So check out there dim sum. We've got bacon, bacon, bacon. Uh, there are just two bacons. You had me at bacon. What do they sell here? Bacon cheeseburger for 
$16. French fries, $5. Proposition chicken. Looks like chicken sandwiches. Chicken sandwiches are all the rage in uh, California right now. We've got a Hora for fresh Mediterranean food. This looks uh, like a pretty healthy place. Right now it's breakfast time, so they've got breakfast offerings instead of lunchtime offerings. And there is one more eating spot here. Bun Mi, some pretty good Vietnamese sandwiches, chicken pho, bulgogi buns. Oh, and uh, I was mistaken, there's, there's two more eating areas. There's Pi 5 Pizza. Uh, breakfast is available here from 6 to 11 a.m. or pizzas later. And then there's Sidewalk Juice over here if you want to get something to juice it up. All right, so down here we see some more of the F gates. Uh, this brings us to like F22. If we take this all the way to the end, uh, United always has these kind of great signs up here to tell you the departure time, the boarding time, people are getting upgraded, who's on standby. So if you want flight status, just go ahead and look up at those screens. There are some nice moving walkways at the end. And uh, good announcement, you know, a fair amount of seating here. Um, you know, if you want the people watching spot, then sit in the seats along the moving walkway. If you want the quiet spots, then sit over on the left. There's a few more restaurants we're gonna check out over here before we make our way over to the E gates. We've got Klein's Deli. We've, oh, we have we, the deli. Sandwiches, of course. It's also got Equator coffees and tea. And on offer here, breakfast time. So you'll find lots of oh, actually pretty good breakfast snacks. I find, you know, some airports have pretty lousy food, but San Francisco airport, like the food is actually pretty legit in here. San Francisco uncorked, which is a wine bar. How much is a wine gonna cost you? Uh, it's probably too early for the wine to be on the menu. Wines by the glass, 15, 20, $40 if you want this uh, this wine by the glass right here. You can get some wine flights too with smaller things. And then just over here, what's this place? This is the uh, San Francisco Giants Clubhouse restaurant slash bar, uh, which also accepts priority pass. Okay, now instead of walking you all the way back down the F gates to the E gates, I'm just gonna hop on over there. Uh, but I will tell you there was one finger of the F gates we didn't go down, which is over here, F5 through F10. It splits off right here at the food court, um, but there's really not much down F5 and F10 other than uh, a few gates and like a little place to eat. All right. I'm gonna see you in the E gates, right down this way. Okay, this is where the moving walkway ends. The first one that I started on, we've got Yankee Pier over here on the right that I passed earlier. And now we're gonna walk over into the new E gates. Uh, oh, I should point out, if you're looking to go down a baggage claim, you'll find it right down those escalators right there. That's how you, that's how you get out. <laughs> you take those escalators. There's another out over at the end of the E gates. So this section, much nicer, much brighter. Uh, big security checkpoint here on our right. We've got a little books over here, Compass Books, if you're looking for some reading material. Uh, we've got some nice places to sit here right after security to put your shoes back on. We've got some interesting little like lamps by the seating area, some reading lamps. We've got Japanese food. If you want some sushi or you want some noodles, you'll find it here. If you want to fill up your water or pour it out, you can do so right here with this little sink. We've got compost trash cans, recycled trash cans, regular trash cans. These are three trash cans, waste, recycle, and compost. The sushi noodle, they're just getting started in the morning. You can get a sushi platter here for about $15. Teriyaki chicken bowl, $14. Uh, and as we start to get over this way, uh, these screens here in the E-Gates show uh, 
more airlines, but still not all of them because they're just the ones kind of in this Star Alliance section. Burger King over here, home of the Whopper. If you're looking for a burger, I don't love Burger King, but it'll work in a pinch. If you need to get out some cash, you need an ATM. There is a Wells Fargo and two Bank of America ATMs over there. We've got Joe Malone for makeup and perfume. Another outpost of Pete's Coffee. I find this one usually has shorter lines, some good pastries out there. Union Street Gastro Pub. Uh, if you want to get a whole bunch of beers on tap before you fly, that's a good spot. Pronto. If you want to pick up some really quick food, that's what this place is designed as. They've just got a whole bunch of like prepared foods, sandwiches, snacks. Uh, here you can get your ham, croissant sandwiches, chicken Italian sandwiches, uh, cheddar cheese sandwich. You can get your yogurt. Uh, and they've even got hot sandwiches over here. Sausage, egg, cheddar, English muffin. And it changes out from breakfast to lunch later on in the day. Some neat artwork back here in the seating area. Some kind of like graffiti-ish modern art. Uh, there is a new connector here that has opened up to the C and D gates. So if you're connecting to other airlines, you can walk down that way, which we're not going to do in this video. Um, but there might be another video if you want to see what's down there. We've got another outpost of the United Club right over here. This one opens a little later, 5.45 in the morning, and closes a little sooner at 10.30. This is a newer, nicer United Club than the other one I showed you, but a bit smaller. Um, over here is a little in-motion store. Get your Apple headphones, things like that, if you didn't bring them. These are the E4 to E13 gates. Probably my favorite part of this terminal. I like how bright it is over here. I like how tall the ceilings are. Uh, and right now, it's really fairly quiet. If you're here more around 11 or noon, I feel like that's when like this is a hub of energy. Uh, oh, this is funny. This is like a, a painting of San Francisco streets to just show how, how steep they are. Are they really that steep? Some of the streets in San Francisco can be pretty quite steep. We have the Mission Bar and Grill over here. Uh, nice area to just sit and eat and relax. If you need a new suitcase, you can get one at Pack and Go. This used to be like a bicycle shop where they sold bicycles and bicycling attire. Now they sell luggage. I guess that works better in airports. Uh, we've got this little art thing over here uh, that has these wheels that spin, kind of like this optical illusion of light, space, and time. Another apples of Klein's Deli that we saw before. Uh, Chalo, San Francisco, if you're looking for some unique gifts to pick up while you're here. These uh, some pretty unique pizzas. Dog Patch, Big House, and Cafe. More coffee. If you need water, uh, they have a whole bunch of filling stations. This one looks like it's broken right now. Urban Tortilla over here on the right if you want some Mexican food. And then if you're looking for chocolate, because doesn't chocolate make any flight better? I think it does. You can pick up some chocolate here at the chocolate market and then admire kind of the neat like hanging silver artwork balls up there on the ceiling. Well, all right, fellow explorers, I have a flight to go catch, uh, but if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some more of my videos on San Francisco International Airport. You might enjoy my tour of the G gates, the international gates, or you might enjoy checking inside that Centurion Lounge. You'll find links to those on the screen or in the description below. And if I've got some time before my flight, I might even do a video on the D-Gates where I'm headed next. All right, as usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in the next video.